What's up everybody? Derek Lambert here and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of motivation. So I wanted to put like a little uh, something together, if you will, encouraging you guys and gals who are fighting this thing. Um, most people don't recognize that addiction isn't a choice, okay? Yeah, I know that sounds tongue-in-cheek like, oh, well, here he goes ranting about how addicts make all these bad decisions and don't want any responsibility. No, I'm not saying that there isn't responsibility, but what I am saying is that the addiction and the disease overwhelms one's thinking and causes one's brain, if you will, to rewire in such a manner that there doesn't seem to be another choice in sight to escape their problems. It's like quicksand and the deeper you go, the more you fight it, the more struggle it is, it's easier to just let it happen. Um, it's quite, at least in the mind of an addict from my experience, it, it seemed toward the end, I was giving up so much hope and I was so hopeless. I was so concerned that there was no out, there was no escape and that it was easier to just stick with the addiction and to continue on the path I was on because it just was no way out. Is there a way out? I kept asking myself, is it possible to really overcome this thing called addiction? Is it really possible? I've been fighting it for so long and I thought I literally was crazy. I went to detox and I'll never forget my first go around in detox. I saw this man who scratched his name on the desk. It was like Little Pump or something. And he put his uh, name and he added the date of when he went to detox right next to it and he said um, I left this place a changed man never again you know something like that and then I saw his name on the same desk okay like right there underneath where his name was initialed little pump he said this thing is the same it never ends it's always gonna be that way and I remember as I was leaving the detox I didn't want to stay because I didn't think it was me I had read the pamphlets and it said this is what makes you a drug addict it scared me so bad to really label myself something like that and you know and I've heard similar stories of people who have hepatitis or uh, AIDS or cancer or something that the, the stigma attached to the name is something they can't accept or they don't like the title of accepting something they have. Well, when I actually looked at addiction, I didn't believe that that was me. I believed I let it got the best of me for a while. You know, yeah, I abused the drug, but I'm not a drug addict. I couldn't label myself that. And here I am trying to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I was leaving. There was a gentleman who was actually trying to tell me about this thing that never ends and continues and continues. And sure enough, uh, I was leaving recognizing this guy had been in and out of this place over and over and over. Was I going to make this same mistake as him? And sure enough, I had relapsed multiple times. I had tried to beat this thing and I had done, that scared the crap out of me so much. I went 27 days, I mentioned this in one of the videos I had just done, 20 something days. And um, I relapsed on Opanis. I ended up back out there for a few weeks and I had support man, I had love from people. So if you're not a drug addict and you're listening, show a drug addict some love and let them know you support their being clean. You love them no matter what, but you support them being clean and support that, that process because imagine someone who's completely lost, they don't have the proper tools to actually be successful and you know it's almost like they don't have a choice but to do what they're doing to themselves over and over to escape the problems that they have they just don't it doesn't seem like there's a way out till there's a way offered and then that's when you see intervention type concepts play their role you know look you need to make a choice and the pressure on a drug addict usually depends really depends it's tough to say because it's so hard but they should go with the help Kurt's done it over and over again and you know he's failed because many times he hasn't taken the instructions and I'm hoping this time he's successful. So I say all this to say if you know someone who's stuck okay, and they can't accept what they are just love them and try to help them no matter where they're at whether they've reached their bottom or not 
be there for him. My mom was there for me. My mom's still there for Kurt. Y'all saw the videos. And this is no joke. This is a real epidemic. I just want to help as many people as possible. If you relate to my story, I'm almost three and a half years clean. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I'm just going to keep on going. So, I love you. Thank you for supporting this. And uh, check out the website, rewiredaddiction.com. It'll be in the description. It's not fully complete, but we have it operational, as well as our Discord, which is free. And you guys come check that out. Join us. So many people are telling us it's a lifesaver. I get in there and crack it up sometimes with some funnies. So, I love you guys and gals. I appreciate it. And, uh, Rewired Addiction with Derek Lambert.